Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I have a really awesome package today. It is the first of probably many because this hobby is super addicting. Uh, box openings for a reborn doll um, that was made by my beautiful, wonderful, and super talented friend Emily. And I'm going to show you the artist information right ahead of time. And I'm also going to put it in the description. So if you would like to find Emily, here is her information. It is Emily's Dream Dolls on Instagram, all one word, and Emily's Dream Dolls on Facebook. I actually found Emily on Instagram first, and she is known for her beautiful, exquisitely painted hair. And I am so excited to see that in person. So let's get started. Now I'm going to try my best with the angles. I'm hoping to not get too much of myself in the video because it's been a long quarantine and some things have happened to all of us in these two months that I don't think that we would like anyone to know about, right? So. Let's go ahead and get started. I already opened the box just like to get the tape off, but I haven't actually looked inside at all. So I'm so excited. I'm like shaking you guys. Okay. So again, this is my, my, my first box opening. So I'm so excited. All right. So I'm going to take off the tissue paper and I'm, I'm not going to keep the box on the table. It's just to kind of get started so you guys can see. <gasps> and what is that? It's a boy. Oh my goodness. And I don't have a scissor on me either. <laughs> so we are going to make do without a scissor. All right. So I move the ribbon. Oh, I think that one's the baby. So... I'm going to take the baby and just put him over here for just a second and we'll look at the goodies first. All right, so take out the packing. And this is a, just an extra tummy plate that we didn't end up using because the other one, I sent two for her to paint and she could choose which one would fit better on the kit that we used. Oh my goodness, packing everywhere. I'm gonna get rid of the box here. Hopefully the crinkling isn't too awful loud. All right, that is a gorgeous box. That would be a great box to keep like my COAs and stuff in. Because like I said, this is not gonna be a one-time only deal. <laughs> I am already so addicted <laughs> and everyone has been really helpful and sweet and I just love watching everyone else's box openings so I really wanted to do one too. Oh, this is like nice chenille ribbon. So we'll take a look. Such a beautiful box, Emily. Thank you so much. I love it. It's got a magnet closure. Oh, look at all these goodies. That was kind of a thing. Me and Emily were always talking about the weather, and I see a cute little cloud in here. Oh, that's darling. I love it. And got a diaper. Oh, that is like the cutest diaper I've ever seen. I haven't um, seen in person any of these printed ones. Um, I want to say it like Honest Co., I think. I didn't use those on my my real children. <laughs> and here's some mittens. Oh, I just love these. Oh my goodness. So Emily and I had, had been messaging a lot um, before my, my turn had come up um, in her queue for, for babies that she's working on. Um, and we got to be really good friends. And she's such a nice lady and so fun to work with. Oh my goodness, and I feel like she knows, she knew exactly what I would like. Oh my goodness. 
She really has a knack for that. My gosh, this is something I totally would have picked myself. I absolutely love it. And a little hat. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it so much. And little footed pants. I don't know if you guys can hear the notifications my phone is making. It's kind of blowing up a little bit. Whoops. I have been holding on to this package all day. It came early this morning and now it's you know, almost nine o'clock at night because I wanted to um, film at a time that my kids wouldn't be banging on the door asking for a million snacks <laughs> because they've been home since uh, the first week of March. Oh, this is darling. It's amazing how many snacks we go through <laughs> with them being home. And I, I actually, I have five kids. So if you do the math, that is a lot of snacks. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the butt. Oh, that's so cute. And this is like, um, like a French terry. Oh my gosh, I love that. It feels like a cloud. Oh, and look, and there's a jacket. Oh, I love it. Oh, and it's got bear ears. Oh, my gosh, Emily. In our time together, in our chats, you just, you've got me figured out, don't you? My word. Oh, I'm actually making a little nursery, too. I'm filming in a walk-in closet that I'm turning into a nursery for him and for any other babies. Um, and that really kind of goes with the theme that I'm going to be doing, too. And there's even more. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so special because I didn't... I had a baby shower with my first child, but um, I was only 19, maybe 20 when I had my first so I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't, you know, kind of soak it in. And, and that was 10 years ago now. So this is like getting a second chance at a baby shower. And that's just, that's so special. I really, I really appreciate that. Oh my goodness. I can't even get the whole thing on camera. All right. So this is a gown. And it's by Rory Chen, Baby and Kids. Oh, I have to do my lights. They start to flash after a few minutes. Dark. Peekaboo. Oh, it's still going to flash. Okay. Technical difficulties. All right, we got it. And I, it, I think it might be a tie bottom. If not, is it is precious as is. I love these colors, too. That's so funny, Emily, because I was telling you that I love gray and I love yellow and, and I love brown, too. So I I really like, really like kind of unusual colors. I don't think those are everybody's favorites, but they are mine and they have been for a really long time. And more tissue paper. Oh, and we have a dummy or a passy. And I, I think I've heard of this brand. This is the one that people talk about. It's got a little B on there, which actually kind of goes with the weather and the outdoorsy theme we've got going on here. Gosh, you just thought of everything. This is so fun. I could do this every day if my, if my bank account would allow me to. <laughs> so I think this is his tummy. And he is anatomically correct. So I'm going to see here. I don't know if that would be offensive to some. I've changed enough diapers in my life that nothing shocks or surprises me. So I'll just cover him up there a little bit. His little, little manhood there. So this is his tummy. And it is just breathtaking this painting I know you guys can't see all the detail like I can but um wow she put a little there's a little scratch there a little tummy scratch oh my gosh the skin the skin tone on this you guys is like brand new baby and we had worked with photos of my my youngest son um 
and he, we were still in the hospital. I had just delivered him just a few hours before the photos were taken. So he was, he was reddish and that's what we were going for. And he's got his little, little scab there. And that was something I got to choose too. I could do the, the scabbed over belly button or I could do like a flesh colored one. There were so many um, aspects that I got to customize and, and I was even surprised and taken back a little bit by all the choices that I had because I'm actually pretty indecisive by nature. So she was so patient and we've got a card here too. I'm just going to show the card, but I'm going to read it. Um, I'm not going to read it out loud. Well, the front I will. Forecasting sunny smiles, showers of love. This is like the cutest card I've ever seen. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for the birthday wishes. He actually arrived just in time. My birthday is tomorrow. So that's everything that's in the box. Look at this gorgeous box. It's a really, really um sturdy. This is this is the box you keep. Granted, I keep like most boxes I get because I also like ship things out and stuff too often. Um, but this is this is a treasure here and it's just beautiful coloring. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna set that down. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the boppy. So I did I bought a boppy. And I'm going to grab the baby. Well, I went and I piled all of his goodies on top of him. <laughs> Poor little man. Okay, so. All right. So here, here's the baby. Now, let me see here. And I, I did not grab a scissor, so I'm going to have to just go at it. There we go. And if anyone is watching this video that doesn't know what a reborn is, a reborn is a doll that arrives to the artist completely blank without any details or any painting. And the artist then paints it to make it look real, to make it look alive. And it takes an incredible amount of talent to do this. And I just want to shout out to Emily and all the other artists out there. This is a true it's a gift. And I don't, I don't really, I mean, I'm new to the community, but I just don't think that this kind of talent gets the recognition that it deserves because this is, it's, it's pretty miraculous what these artists are able to accomplish, especially you, Emily. So here's our little man. And it looks like he's in a, a rocket ship that was made. Um, I don't know if Emily made this, but somebody made this. It's got little little flames coming out. This is so cute. This is so precious. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm wondering how my, how my uh, Midwestern accent is going to come out on, on camera right now. I don't know if any of you could, could tell. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh. Look at the legs. Okay. All right, I gotta breathe. I'm gonna have to get a drink of my coffee here. My mouth is getting dry from all the gasping. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing that I'm a, I'm a night owl because I am going to be up with this little guy for some time after I put my chickens away. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. I love his size. I was a little unsure of what I wanted size-wise. Um, because I am so new to this, um, but this size, this is perfect. And I, I think the kit is a 19 inch kit and he is so nicely weighted. I really like the feel of this baby. Oh, and his little arms. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Now, now I'm going to, I've got, I'm going to lower you down a little bit here so we can see together. And I probably will also do a details video as well, but this is just basic. 
And then I think I'm also going to do a name reveal video too when I do his, um, because he does have a name, um, but I'm not going to share it just yet. So let's look at his toes. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. Seeing it in person. Okay. Wow. All right. He's got full arms and legs. And I know you guys aren't going to be able to see all that detail. I wish I could. I'm on a tripod right now, so it would be so hard to. Oh my goodness. Like the color isn't coming up quite right on camera. But I'm telling you in person, this is like perfect, fresh out of the womb, red baby toes, red uh, baby skin. I'm I'm a super pale person. I tell people I'm so pale, I'm practically clear. So you can see on with me the difference. Wow. And he's got the tipped, the tipped nails. And there's some veining there on his feet, on the tops. Okay, all right. I'm going to bring it back up. Now i got to try to get back where I was. <laughs> oh, I almost lost my phone there. Okay. Sorry, guys. Bear with me just a little bit. Okay, I'm new at this. All right. So, all right, let's look at his face. I have to see, and then you can see who it is. There he is. Oh, Emily's beautiful. All right, so this sculpt is Bryson by Jade Warner. And I think her Instagram is um, something like a little bit of heaven or a little touch of heaven. I'll, I'll put that in the description too. And he is a um, limited edition sculpt. There were only 100 of his kit made, so he is very limited edition. Um, but I just, I fell in love with his face because his face is almost identical to my son when my son was born. Um, the exact same nose and mouth. It was really like, it was uncanny. So I had, I had to have this one and I got to choose what sculpt I wanted. Now let's take a peek at these little fingers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're so real. Oh my goodness. And he can hold on to my hand. Oh, I love that. With all of my babies, when I was first getting to check them out after they were born, I would just stare at their little fingers because their fingers are just so amazingly tiny and delicate when a, when a brand new baby is born. And here's his other little sweet hand. And this one on the kid is closed. There he is. Oh, wow. The nails, they look so real. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could... Because you're kind of looking right at his chin. There he is. And the little one. Oh, my goodness. And here's his hair. Oh, and it's just stunning, too. It looks even more real in person. Because I'm looking, and she did completely fine lines of the of the baby hairs down his face and he's got a little scratch on his ear um, and he's got a little faint scratch right here and, and in a photo of my son he had a scratch in the exact same place so she did she did that exact like a little portrait baby 
and he's got rooted eyelashes. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, he kicked the camera. <laughs> There's his hair. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So that is baby Bryson sculpt and that's that's not his name I'm, I'm gonna keep that just as a secret just for a little while and hopefully I'll be able to come back and do another video with him I'm hoping to do videos frequently of of him and any other little babies that I get um, because like I said this hobby is it sucks you right in <laughs> He is so beautiful. I love him so much. I'm going to um, put up his artist details one more time so that if you want to work with this amazing artist, you can find her. And I'm pretty sure she's taking customs um, not too far into the future. So you could have your own Emily's dream doll. And he is, he is a dream. I love him so much. Thank you so much, Emily. He's beautiful. And if you like this video and you want to see more of this little fella and more videos in the future, I also do ASMR videos, but I will label those as ASMR so you don't um, click on those by mistake if that's not your thing. Um, here he is. Oh, I'm going to hover over him. I know I've got a tripod. I'm kind of kicking it. Oh, he is just beautiful. The detailing on his little forehead is just amazing. And his little hand. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get better um, at close-up filming since I have kind of a limited space. All right, guys, thank you so much for sharing this moment with me. I had not looked at him at all, so this was, we got to do this together. And thank you so much, Emily, and, and everyone else that um, I've met in this new hobby of mine. I hope everyone has a great rest of their week. Bye.